In this video, we will discuss the Civil 3D Ribbon. The Ribbon is a standard Microsoft interface that Autodesk adopted in 2009. However, Civil 3D started using it in 2010 as the main interface to all the Civil 3D tools. A Ribbon is made up of Ribbon tabs, such as the Home tab, Insert tab, and so on. And inside each of the tabs are Ribbon panels. So for instance, if I were to say, Navigate to the Home tab, Create Design Panel, Alignment drop-down tools, this is where you would go. So for those of you not familiar with the Ribbon, the Ribbon is a task-based interface. It basically poses the question, what do you want to do? And then the Ribbon, tabs, and panels will answer that question. The only exception to that question is the Home tab, which contains the most commonly used tools. So let's look at an example of this. Let's say I want to plot something. So let's look at the tabs and think about how you would plot using the tab categories. Is plotting an insert operation? Definitely not. Annotate? I don't think so. Modify? Analyze? View? Ooh, let's, let's check that out. Do I see a plot panel anywhere? And the answer is no. Manage? Definitely not. Output? Oh, hey, look at that. Let's look at the output tab. And there's the plot panel. So plotting is an output operation. And that's how you have to look at the ribbon interface. Let's look at one of the other things that the ribbon actually does for you as well. With Civil 3D, the ribbon becomes a context-sensitive ribbon. In other words, if I were to select, let's say, this alignment, look at the ribbon, you get alignment-specific tools. What's also nice about this functionality is it actually reports to you the actual name of the object type. Let's look at another example. If I press Escape here and select this surface, you'll notice it says Tin Surface colon EG. So the name of this surface is EG, which of course stands for Existing Ground. You will then see all the commonly used tools for dealing with surfaces, such as adding data, editing surfaces, and so on. 